Well, here we have something a little bit special. This lovely little engine is an Aubrey Manor Mark IV. And uh, thanks very much to Mr. Roly Williams, who is very well known in the model steam engine world. We know quite a lot about these engines, and they are rather unique. One of the reasons why they are unique is that I don't think there were ever two made by the same person. So let's pull that out. And I'll go on to explain that in a minute. As you can see, it's a basic uh, oscillating cylinder engine, brass flywheel, cast aluminium base, brass boiler, and steel firebox. The original design for this did not have these shields on the side. These have been added as extra, probably just to aid uh, keeping the heat in and helping the boiler to heat up really quickly. So, what's so special about this? <laughs> This design for this engine uh, was published in the Model Engineering magazine <clears throat> in 1965 by a gentleman by the name of Geoffrey Weller. He was a metalwork teacher at Aubrey Manor School, which is in Surrey, in the UK. And this design was used by Aubrey Manor and also Court Lodge School uh, for the pupils in the metalworking class as a, as a subject to manufacture and obviously learn skills, learn metalworking skills. So this would have been made by a pupil at one of those schools, which to me is absolutely fascinating. And if we have a look on the base, the cast aluminium base, where you can see that, there is a name, P. Bromfeed. And that would have been the name, I would imagine, of the pupil who actually made this engine. <clears throat> probably in, well, anywhere, I guess, between 1965 and probably uh, 75, something like that. So yeah, this is a very unusual engine and a very nice example. So if you're watching this, Mr. Bromfield, please, uh, please comment. The burner tu tubes are missing their end caps. I don't quite know what's happened there, but I can easily make up a couple of end caps to go over here. But other than that, it's pretty much complete. I'm going to strip it down and clean it up. It's a bit mucky. It's probably been sat in a shed or a garage for a long time, I would imagine. But uh, yeah, I've been after one of these for a long time, so I'm very pleased to have this. Uh, can't see any reason why it shouldn't run at all. Uh, as I said, we'll give it a clean up, then we'll give it an oil, we'll make some caps for the burner tubes, and we should be we should be away. Well, here we have it, all stripped down. It's all been cleaned up. Uh, I made a couple of new end caps for the for the burner tubes. That come out quite well. Caught down on the label though. The firebox was uh, spent a, <laughs> a considerable amount of time on the uh, wire wheel, cleaning that up, and then it got a new coat off high temperature engine paint everything else is cleaned up really nicely so a couple of things to do first I need to test the burner make sure that works okay and there aren't any leaks I need to check the boiler that there aren't any leaks and also to check the boiler capacity so I know because there's no sight glass or anything or level on that so I know how much water to put in an interesting thing when I was cleaning these up these uh, additional shields it would appear they've been made from uh, an old oil can <laughs> by, the, by the looks of it been folded up from some organ which is great I mean, it, makes it makes it even better as far as i'm concerned so yeah we'll need to um, do those things get it all back together and then we can uh, see if we can get the thing steamed well here's the uh, aubrey manor mark IV, all back together looking very nice indeed it's come up really well it's quite pleased about it cleaned up really nicely um the burner works uh, it's a bit energetic but i think it'll be okay no leaks, that's the important thing. The boiler takes 250 milliliters to fill it up, so uh, I'll probably put 150 in. That'll be more than enough for, a, for our test run. Um, yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all there. It's all free and moving. I'm a little bit concerned about the spring tension on the uh, cylinder. That's quite a strong spring. It seems to, you know, rotate freely enough, so hopefully it'll be okay. We'll see, we might have to adjust that. Right, let's get it steamed up. 
Uh, quick little tip uh, for filling boilers like this one, which only have the safety valve. There's no other entry into the boiler. There's no whistle, there's no level plug. So um, obviously when you're pouring water into a boiler, you need the air that's in the boiler to come out. So a quick little tip for doing it on boilers like this is if you gently press the cylinder away from the cylinder block like that, take a thick washer like this, pop it in there. That will allow the air to escape out through the steam pipe when you're putting the water in. Quite a handy little tip if you do get stuck in this situation. You still won't be able to put the water in particularly fast because the air doesn't come out that fast, but you will be able to put the water in quite satisfactorily using this method. Well, I think we've got enough pressure up, so let's give it a whirl. Look at that, smooth as silk. Lovely. I was hoping it would run rather rather well. The, I noticed when I was uh, stripping it down and uh, reassembling it that the the piston is a very very good fit in the cylinder, which is always good. You'll get superb smooth running if you get a good good piston cylinder fit. So obviously needn't have worried about the spring tension on the cylinder. Running like a trooper. Superb. I'm very well pleased with that. So that's the Aubrey Manor Mark IV under steam for the first time since I've uh, owned it. And running really, really well. Well, if you're still around, Mr. P. Barfield or whatever your name was who made this, and you see this, you should be very proud. It's a very nice engine. Running superbly. Very, very slight wobble on the flywheel. I'm not sure whether that's the flywheel out of true or the actual uh, crankshaft. A slight wobble there. But other than that, no. Look at that. Superb. As I said, we reckon this was probably made between 1965 and 1975. So it's a, it's a pretty old engine. Let's take the burner out for a bit. Yeah, I am I'm well pleased with that. That is that is great. Really good. That is a nice engine. The gentleman who built this should be well proud of it. Yes, it's a very nice uh, addition to my little steam engine collection. I mean, it might keep my eye out for more of these because there was also the Court Manor engine, which was slightly smaller than this, which was uh, designed by the same guy, Mr. Weller. So, yeah, it might be interesting to see uh, see the difference between, you know, between them because obviously they're made by different pupils at the schools at that time. So, yeah, a very interesting engine. And very, very smooth running. So there you go. The court, sorry. <laughs> the Aubrey Manor Mark IV, designed by Mr. Weller, built by one of the pupils at either Aubrey Manor School or 
the other one, it's which name uh, escapes me now, I'll put it in the description. But yeah, absolutely lovely engine, superb. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this little video on the Aubrey Manor Mark IV. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.